Hi friends. The topic of this video is HCF. And my suggestion to the students is if they have not watched my previous video that is prime factorization, please first watch prime factorization and then it will be easy to understand how to find HCF and what is the meaning of HCF. So, let's start with today's topic which is HCF or GCD. First of all, the full form what is meant by HCF? HCF stands for highest common factor and GCD stands for greatest common divisor. And how can we calculate HCF or GCD of a number? First of all, let us try to understand the meaning of HCF and then we will see how, how can we calculate HCF of two numbers. Now here I have taken an example 24. Let me write all the factors of 24 including primes so all the factors of 24 are the first one is 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 and 24 these are the factors of 24 or we can say divisors of 24 now let me write the factors of the number 36 and the factors of number 36 are uh, here are the factors 1 2 3 4 6 9, 12, 18 and 36 and if you observe carefully 1 is a common factor of both the numbers similarly 2 is a common factor 3 is a common factor 4 is also a common factor then 6 and after 6 next is 12 and 12 is the last yeah no other common factor and out of these common factors, the highest common factor is 12 and HCF is nothing but highest common factor of given numbers. Therefore, I can say the HCF of number 24 and 36 is 12. And this method of finding HCF is known as a listing method. This is very convenient for small numbers but when the numbers are big this method is not very convenient I discuss it later now let me explain the methods with which we can find HCF or GCD of two numbers the methods are the first one is a listing method which I have just explained and the second method is known as prime factorization method there is one more method we call it a long division method and in this video I am going to discuss these three methods listing I have already discussed the two are left the first is uh, prime factorization and last one is long division method let's start with the prime factorization method now again I will take the example and now we have number 24 first of all I will try to find the prime factors of number 24. In the previous video, I explained how to find prime factorization. I am using letter method or division method. 2, 12, 24 and then 2, 6 and 6 is divisible by 2 and 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 and now 3 is prime so 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. So, the prime factorization of 24 I have already calculated which is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 and let us see 36 the prime factorization of 36 is an even number 36 has an even number because it ends with 6 so it is divisible by 2 2 ones are 2 and 1 is left so 16 2 into 8 is 16 again an even number so will be divisible by 2 and we know that 2 multiplied by 9 is 18 9 is an odd number, so it is not divisible by 2. I go to the next prime, that is 3. 9 is divisible by 3. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. And the last one is 3. 1 is 3. So I got the prime factorization of the two numbers which were given to me, 24 and 36. And here is a prime factorization of both the numbers. So step one is find prime factors of given number. Now, these, this is the prime factorization which I have obtained. 
with the method of uh, division method or ladder method. Now in this prime factorization, using this method I am going to calculate HCF of two numbers and HCF is defined as product of common prime factors. Here common word is important. Product of common prime factors which occur least number of times in either of the numbers. Now let's see which are the common factors. 2 is a common factor and 3 is a common factor. These are the common factors of the given number. Now to occur thrice in the first prime factorization that is in prime factorization of 24 2 occurs 3 times and in prime factorization of 36 2 occurs twice and I have to take a least number and least number is out of these two it occurred least number of times in 36 so twice so in finding HCF of 24 and 36 I will multiply to two times because it has the least number of times in second prime factorization now let's come to the next common prime factor which is 3 3 occur once in the prime factorization of 24 and 3 occurs twice in the prime factorization of 36 and it occurs least number of times here means only once so I will write 3 once in order to calculate HCF and the HCF of these two numbers will be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 12 and if, if you want to make it a bit easier what you can do is you circle the common prime factors right these are the common prime factors which I have circled and now what you can do is you multiply these common prime factors only once so again I will get 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 which is 12 so 12 is a HCF of the given numbers 24 and 36 24 can also be written as 2 cube multiplied by 3 and 36 can be expressed as 2 square into 3 cube. In higher classes, it is also taught that HCF of two numbers is product of common prime factors, product of common prime factors raised to power their least exponent. Now here common prime factors are 2 and and the least exponent of 2 is this 2 and the least exponent of 3 is this. So the HCF can also be written as two raised to power two, which is the least exponent of two, and three raised to power one, which is the least exponent of three. Again, answer will be. 12. So students can do the way they feel like doing. Yeah. Now, next method is known as long division method. I'm going to take the same example that is two numbers 24 and 36. How can we find the HCF using long division method? Step number one is divide these two numbers. Take the bigger number as dividend and the smaller number as divisor. If I divide these two numbers, 24 multiplied by 1 is 24 and the remainder will be 12. Now the old divisor that is 24 will become dividend and the remainder will become divisor 
the remainder was 12 12 will become divisor and the previous divisor will become dividend so 12 multiplied by 2 is 24 we will repeat this process till I obtain remainder 0 and suppose I do not obtain remainder 0 then the remainder will again become divisor and the last divisor will become dividend and the process will continue and the HCF of the given numbers will be the last divisor and the last divisor is 12 so using long division method we can find HCF of the given numbers which is 12 here so these were the three methods to find HCF listing method prime factorization and long division but question is why do we need to find HCF what is the need to find HCF there are some practical applications and let's take an example of one practical application here and the question I, I'll explain it with the help of the question suppose we have two tankers the first contains 720 liters and the second contains 640 liters of oil find the maximum capacity of the container which can measure oil in both the tankers when used an exact number of times now here is a first tanker and let's say its capacity is 700 20 liters and let's say the capacity of second one is 640 liters and I'm looking for a container which can measure the oil in the both in both the containers and in exact number of times it means the capacity of this container will be a factor of 640 and 720 and moreover, I need to find the maximum capacity. It means I need to find the highest common factor of 640 and 720. So the capacity of the required container will be HCF. And HCF of what? HCF of 720 and 600. 40 liter so these are the kind of questions the real life situations where we need to calculate etc so this was all about the topic the methods to find hcf meaning of hcf and why do we need to find hcf and my next topic will be lcm and till then thank you and have a nice day